Hey there, this is Kelly Key, and our next project is taking down or finish taking down this basketball rim. This basketball rim, from what my mother told me, was put up um, a long time ago. It's been here ever since I was young, and it's been mounted in this area. As you can see, my father was a pipe fitter for Detroit Edison. which is now DTE Energy. And as you can see, he ended up putting um, or extending the basketball rim up a little bit more, but it's been bolted to this garage. Now, based upon some of the stories that my mother told me, there was a tree over in this yard and I guess it, it it fell and when it fell it from what she said it pushed the garage over a little bit but it's not helping any that this basketball rim is attached to the to the garage so um, I had purchased a a torch and I ended up cutting some of the the front part of the um, I ended up cutting the front part of the basketball rim down and then I started cutting as you can probably see right here I started cutting it a little bit and the cutting wheels that I had was not sufficient enough or I didn't have enough of them so I had to end up ordering some more cutting wheels and I'll start dismantling this and piece by piece cutting it down because one of the major issues is is that it's separating or it's pulling the garage down as you can see right here which is making this side of the garage lean so it's been doing that for a little while I have the cutting wheel and I had to order a mask so that therefore I can do some cutting because with all of the metal that's going to be cutting from the basketball rim I don't want any of it to cut my face so safety is most important so I'll show you the mask that I ended up getting and it requires that you wear goggles also with the mask so the mask that I ended up getting is right here and I'll list everything from eBay but there's a filter on the inside. It's removable. It's a glass shield to protect my face from the metal shavings that's gonna come off with the cutting wheel. So this is the cutting wheel. I picked this up from Home Depot. This is the blade or this is the wheel that was on it that I was cutting the I started cutting a little bit with basketball rim down with and these are the this is the pack of wheels that I ended up getting with it 
for it that I ended up getting for it and so there's a lot in this case and so we should be able to get the basketball rim down with these it's five sets inside and so as you can see on this side of the garage where it's it's pulling and you could definitely see that it's 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 pulling from the top with the weight of the basketball rim our next project is to utilize the sun joe electric saw I ended up getting a couple of different tools so that therefore I can start pulling the garage back this way so that it's it's even with the back and even the back is starting to, to pull and also had another issue where the there was a an ant farm that was growing on the roof of the garage when I started pulling some of the roofing shingles I started finding that the ants were further and further and further up the garage so now i'm to the point where i'm able to replace some of the wood that is on top of the garage because you can kind of see where there's a hole in the garage right over there and i'll start pulling down more of this but i did not want to do it because of just the amount of deterioration of the garage so first I'll have to cut the basketball rim down or finish cutting the basketball rim down and then once I do that then I'll be able to stabilize the garage and then I can start working on the roof side but I can't work on the roof until the basketball rim comes down and the garage is stable.